viewers welcome to Ahmed coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam today we will study about cloning of transgenic animals cloning is actually a asexual form of reproduction in which only one animal or one parent is required in mature specialized cells only certain genes they are turned on while others they are turned off why because they are specialized they know what to do so accordingly they are going to express some genes while they are going to stop the expression of some genes while the cloning of animal it requires all the genes of an adult cell to turn on which is important because we are going to actually use that cell so that it can be differentiated into a complete adult and for this reason we need all the genes on no off gene is required if you see it in this way it seems impossible for uh, the cloning of a complete organism from the mature cells but this impossible thing made possible in 1997 when the scientists from the Roslyn Institute in Scotland they produced clone sheep which is known as dolly and now a day the scientists they are using the method to clone animals routinely however the human cloning is still prohibited because of the ethical issues now what are the steps of the cloning of transgender animal for example we are cloning a sheep you are going to take the donor cells from the sheep and you are going to take an egg from another donor and in this case you can take the sheep as the donor so we have this donor nucleus we have this egg cell what you are going to do that you are going to remove the nucleus from the egg and then we have this egg in which no nucleus is present then you are going to insert this donor nucleus into this egg cell it means the egg cell is from this donor but the nucleus which is present inside the egg is from this donor so it is like two animals combined here so we have a fused cell here we are going to allow this cell to divide normally and as this cell is going to divide it is going to form an embryo when the embryo is formed this embryo is placed in the uterus of the foster mother which in this case we are using sheep this sheep is then going to harbor the baby or the baby development will take place inside the body of this sheep and then it is going to give birth to the cloned lamb and this cloned lamb will have the characteristics of this sheep why because we use the nucleus of this sheep so these are the simple steps which are used for the cloning of transgenic animals that was our lesson on the cloning of transgenic animals if you have any question related to this topic you can ask me in the comment section i will see you in the next video